Welcome to this week's legislative update. I'm Jim Baumgart, along with uh, Nanette uh, Bolabush, who is the co-host of the program. Welcome to uh, this week's program. We're going to deal with the um, historical part of Sheboygan County today with the uh, Stephen Rogstart, who is the Director of Development for the Sheboygan County Historical Society, um, and he's a new staff person. Welcome to the program. Welcome. Thank you. I really appreciate yeah. the chance to be here. Um, we, we chatted uh, a few days ago, um, maybe a week ago, about uh, coming on the program uh, because uh, it's this new job that you have, it's, it's to sort of target some new ideas and some new approaches, uh, and uh, many of the people in Chippewa County haven't um, met you, so why don't you introduce yourself a little bit uh, on who you are, and uh, that'll be a good start. Well, I uh, live in Racine, and so I actually commute up to Sheboygan and Falls drove every up day. Today? I drove up this morning very early, weather was good. Um, but I come from a, a historical passion for history in my background, and I serve as president of the Racine Museum Board and as president for Preservation Racine. So. This was and, a, and, and a Lincoln expert. Well, I'll humbly acknowledge a scholar. I don't think <laughs> anybody's scholar. really an expert, okay. but yeah. um, yes, I've spent the great deal of my life studying and so speaking somebody, and so teaching so about, about Lincoln. Lincoln. If somebody's interested, when, when you're going to be somewhere, they should show up if they want to. Oh, I would love it if they'd show up if yeah. I was talking about Lincoln, absolutely. Okay, that's good to know. Um, but no, I've, I've known Beth Dippel, our executive director over at the center for the last seven years, and so... Uh, we had some conversations about uh, taking the organization in, a, uh, in some new initiatives and some new uh, activities, and so I'm, I'm happy to be on board. It's a fun job, and it's a great organization. One of the things they, they have uh, um, uh, at the uh, uh, society is a huge amount of material that deal with old records and uh, genealogy and um, we, we, a great deal of things that uh, uh, people may be having uh, in their uh, attics and from their grandparents and other things. Uh, should they be aware that maybe these may be things that should be preserved? Because you have, I think, um, a million items that are in your... 500,000 images and a million documents. That's images a lot. And pictures you know, and those numbers are, are more than just impressive because when you think They're of huge. a million documents and growing yeah. and 500,000 photographic images and growing, mm -hmm. yes. we are the largest, if not the largest, close to the largest, private, single private collection of that in the state of Wisconsin, exactly. private collection, yeah. because the organization does not receive any public money. So um, the organization huh. is celebrating its 35th year this year, and it has subsisted strictly on the generosity and the support of people and businesses who give to the, uh, the research center. And you know, Sheboygan's fortunate. They have the Sheboygan County Museum, right. which houses the Historical Society. And then we're the Sheboygan County Historical Research Center. Center. And so we are like Falls. the archive and the public outreach arm of the historical agencies, I like to think of it, in the, the greater Sheboygan area. So, but, so we want to clarify, you're not the museum. You work with them quite a bit. Oh, yes. But you are the Historical Research Center located in Sheboygan Falls. Correct. You are, and I did not know this. I did not know that you don't receive public funding. I thought you were like part of the county you know, infrastructure, well, but it's all private money, all but private you are money. public in that anyone is welcome to come on in and see what you have. Absolutely, and they do come. I mean, we service between four and 5,000 visitors that walk through our doors physically every year, but in addition, the outreach programs, the courses, the classes, the seminars, the lectures wow. reach about another 10,000 people each year. That's wonderful. It's phenomenal numbers when you talk about people coming in to do research and, and this would be a good starting point for anybody that's looking to do research on their family, so their genealogy. business, their school, genealogy, uh, the history of Sheboygan Falls, or the, greater, the history of the greater Sheboygan County area. Um, the, the archive is immense, just immense. Well, one of the things that uh, um, you may or may not know yet is that the museum gets a small stipend from the county, mm -hmm. um, I think $10,000 or, 
a year, and the rest they, they do it uh, by uh, uh, getting pledges and memberships and other things. Uh, and I, I see no reason why, uh, because of the wonderful work that you're doing, that the county uh, shouldn't uh, uh, be supportive. There are those, of course, uh, who are just absolutely adamant that no government money should go uh, for preserving anything, but uh, mm. um, I think uh, as you're growing and the need to protect this stuff should be um, very important to the uh, citizens and the government of, of Sheboygan County, uh, they should be helping you out, and I'm on the county board. Yeah, he's I, on the county board, so we can I, certainly, I certainly help. <laughs> um, you know, not that we should pay for the whole thing, but we should be part of the uh, program, and I think uh, people out there viewing this should understand that if we want to protect our history, uh, it costs some money and we should all do it together and not necessarily just leave it up to the uh, uh, few to donate and to volunteer free uh, for somebody else to then use the material and mm -hmm. uh, gain the uh, benefits. You are on the county website, I believe. If yes. someone wants to find out more about the Historical Research Center, they can go to the county website and you're they right sure there. Can. They the sure can. They sure can. And if they don't go to the county website, they can simply go to www.s C H R C. I always have to remind this so it's right. H R C yeah, dot Research org, Center. Yeah. Dot org. And you you'll you'll see what we do there. Um, well I appreciate, you know, your progressive thinking on that because <laughs> one of the things that um, the the center will be facing in the not too distant future will be um, what to do about housing its collection. And um, right now we are in the, the discussion and contemplation stages of possibly building a new building in a few years down the road. Because you have so much stuff and your building is only so... Well, we're already stuffed and I can stuffed. tell you if okay. anybody wants to question how much stuff we really have, all they would have to do is come over and visit us because we have stuff in Rubbermaid containers that are stacked up even in hallways and all of it has to be cleaned, identified, right. processed, you have to create a database for documents. You know, all the photographic images are scanned in digitally and they have to be identified. It takes a great deal of effort and work to preserve history and we're fortunate. Um, the center has over 150, 150 volunteers that come in regularly to process and help. It's an astounding thing when you come into the building like I do every day and you see it in action people around a table, and, and some are processing, could be obituaries, some could be doing weddings, some could be doing maps. It, it is just an impressive sight, and we have the public coming in daily um, doing research on their families or their homes or buildings. Well, and some of the wonderful. material that you have has to be um, uh, put in a, a room that is um, well, it has to be climate controlled, climate controlled mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you, have to, you have to have the right environment to preserve documents, you know, for posterity. So, so walk me through. I'm an, I've, I say I haven't been to the center, and I haven't been there in too long, but I'm, my family, Bullabashes, we're not from Wisconsin, but I married a coon, which has a long history in Wisconsin, so I want to find out more information about my in-law's family. I walk in there, and is there someone there who's going to help me? Is there uh, mm -hmm. someone who can help me find the records about marriage things, death certificates? You will not be left to your own devices, okay, I good. can assure you. We good. have people there that will pull files for you as long as they know what you're looking for. Um, they know where those files are and would be more than happy to go and get them for you, okay. walk you through what you're looking at, possibly okay. give you some suggestions on other avenues of research. Okay. So yeah, you, you won't be you won't be left wondering or contemplating. Oh, this is somewhat overwhelming, yeah, and I don't I know how to get here, started. Yeah. We love people that that have maybe have never done research before, and they're doing it for the first time. Oh, and know. you come in and you find yourself having a great deal of fun in a very short time because you're starting to uncover the history of whatever it is that you're there for, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden that history of it is coming alive. You're and right. then and all the of a light sudden, bulb in your head a light bulb on. is going on, and you might have remembered something your parents have told you, your grandparents told uh -huh. you, your family told you. You think, oh, yes, I remember that. And uh, that's the exciting thing about history, is recreating the story, because that's all history is. It's, it's stories. stories. Right. 
And it's so, not necessarily just facts and nope, figures and dates. names. It's the stories that you're trying to bring to life out of this archive of documents and images. Oh, that's it's, wonderful. Well, and they do have uh, uh, classes uh, periodically. I'm, I'm a member of the, uh, um, uh, the organization, and they mail this information, and they'll list certain classes on genealogy or whatever it might be. And so people, uh, uh, if they're paying attention, uh, can go in there and, uh, I, I suppose, for a couple of dollars, whatever the fee, or maybe it's even free, but uh, they can learn on how to do genealogy the right way. You have a whole series of programs coming up, right? We have genealogy classes that have been taking place for many, many years. We've had a program called, which we call Second Saturdays, which take place nine times a year over at the Plymouth Arts Center. We bring in a number of different lecturers to talk about a lot of different topics. Hopefully most of them are regional and local. Um, we also have something called History on the Move which our executive director does and she goes out and talks about various topics mm -hmm. pertaining yeah. to local and county history. And it's a great, there's a lot of community outreach with this organization. You know, it's not, you, you don't go to the center like you would go to a museum to maybe interact and touch a three-dimensional object. You're going there to do research. And so you have to, you have to make research exciting. And that's different than going to a museum and being able to go through and look at all the fine mm -hmm. artifacts, for example, that the Sheboygan County Museum has. But you won't be coming there to do that. You'll be coming there to do research. And when you take a look at the number of people that come in daily, just daily, looking to find answers to questions that they have, uh, it's, uh, it's very, very impressive. And, uh, you know, I think every organization would say they're the best kept secret in their respective <laughs> town. I think everybody says that right, they because do. they would love to see more people or they don't hear people talking about them. Um, I will say that I think the Sheboygan County Historical Research Center is one of the best kept gems <laughs> in Sheboygan Falls. Yes, and uh, I would encourage any of the viewers to come in someday. And even if you've never done research, but you watch this program, then just say, if nothing else, I want to come over and meet Steve. Because then I'll tell him, come down to the archive with me, and I'll show you what yeah. we do here. And I would encourage anybody to come over. Wonderful. Well, and, and we're running out of time. All right. Uh, we have to uh, end it. And I want to uh, thank Stephen Rockstead for uh, who's the uh, new director of development at the uh, Sheboygan County Historical Research Center, that's, that's correct, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, for coming in. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, they are in the Falls uh, uh, telephone book, and uh, you can just... Uh, and come online. And online. And so don't hesitate to look them up and stop in if you have questions, because they'll certainly try to answer them. Thank you very much for sharing this time with us. Until next time. This has been Legislative Update.